Hi everyone, we're back with Behind the Covers, one of my most recent covers with Anne Hathaway for Interview Magazine. So I know that personally this is one of Annie's favorite shoots that she's done. So this took place in New York City and it was in a very small gym. Collier Shore was the photographer. The fashion stylist was Dara Allen. I did the makeup and the hairstylist was Ebony Frosto. And Mel Ottenberg, of course, is the editor-in-chief. The inspiration was sort of, you know, Jane Fonda workout meets Marilyn Monroe when she was doing that bench press. And she just looks so glamorous, but strong. Annie is super fit, so she really had fun doing some of the exercises. They had, you know, old gym ropes and things like that. She was actually doing all the moves. She's really impressive. And then she had to swing back and forth on this rope several times and still maintain like a pretty face instead of looking like Ugh! you know and she did it multiple times and then they have to get just the right shot so that was a hard picture but look how cool it looks she can be really ingenue sort of pure um peaches and cream you know with that beautiful complexion she has but she can also be quite sexy and juicy in a way that you know you don't expect and i think that the combination of the toughness with you know the gym gear and the styling and then the liquid liner and the expression and just the strength i think that she demonstrates in these pictures is kind of unexpected and cool and you see a different side to her the first time i met annie was we did a cover of american vogue in los angeles and for the january cover 2009 you know, she's one of my favorite actresses. She's just so talented. She has an incredible singing voice. Um, then of course, most recently, We Crashed. If you haven't seen it, it's one of my favorite TV shows ever. What have we done lately? We've done El France. We did Harper's Bazaar Japan. We did Bulgari Campaign. The biggest challenge is when you've worked with somebody, somebody for so long in so many different scenarios is to always keep it fresh and not repeat yourself and to surprise the person in a good way. I used, you know, Vital Skin N and 1. So I used um, N as her concealer shade and 1 is kind of like her true skin tone shade. And then I, I sort of like mixed the two. I used Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in Peau de Peche to give her a really nice kind of radiant, warm, chiseling effect. And then I used it, Baby Cheeks and Mimi. The fact that we were doing both color and black and white always makes you think a little bit differently about um, the shades you choose. I used Biscuit, you know, as her contour for her nose and her cheeks. And for her eyebrows, I did Bon Brow and Slate. On her eyes, I did Rendezvous and I used Bizu, which is this peachy shade is kind of like in her tear duct and a little bit under her brow. And then I used Frappe going up from her lash line to her socket. I also gave her a liquid liner with a little bit of a wing um, in Clay de Peau. And then I did a black Chanel liner on the inside of her lashes. And then I did I Love You, top lashes only. I did sort of Le Rouge um, in Lip Suede in this color, in this bricky shade, and I gave it her more of a stain, which looks really pretty on her. And then I gave it a juicy texture using Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in Pip Squeak. And then to top it all off, my favorite Vital Press Skin Care Powder in Translucent. I feel lucky to have been a part of this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks.